when we had the moment, you mean in the bathroom when we actually knew it? Well, I mean, it was it was a great moment, but I mean, it was like, when we shot that scene, it was like we were on hour 15 and we had like a window of this big to, to get it because this, this, this show is very ambitious. I mean, with, with the amount of time that we have to shoot it, uh, the, the, the action and the number of uh, characters and storylines that need to be covered. It's, it's a very ambitious show we can go. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that, that moment was... Like, it was tense. It was, it was tense. tense. It was tense. It was tense. It was tense just because of the day that we had. Right. And just trying to, you know, I remember he was fussing. This is yeah. the last, this is a powerful scene. You're gonna give us like five minutes to shoot it. Yeah, we didn't, <laughs> but it worked. Yeah. But it worked. And like we, that's I didn't even think worked. we had five minutes. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, I didn't even think we had five minutes. Yeah. I said, Greg, I can't believe this. We gotta, this is like, you know, this is the, one of the biggest moments in the in the finale. We got like three minutes to shoot it. <laughs> They're trying to get some secrets out of me. You get him drunk, he'll tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got some whiskey in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not written, I'll improv the entire thing. <laughs> no, it's going to be some exciting things going on next season. And it's going to, we don't find them right away. I'll, I can, I'll just say that. I guess I can say that, right? You can say that. I can say that. Wish, wait, wish oh, yeah, yeah look, <laughs> we don't find them right away. Yeah. Just put it that way, Finch. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say. <laughs> without saying. Can we say Okay. See, what happens is if we, <laughs> if we give away secrets, right? Jonah Nolan holds us down and J.J. Abrams canes us. Yeah, they have, a, they have a dungeon where they take us and beat us. <laughs> Go to the bad robot dungeon. <laughs> Pretty much, I think he trusts Jonah and Greg. Um, he'll chime in every once in a while with mm. me. I don't know about you, right. but J.J.'s a person friend of mine. <laughs> and he'll chime in every now and again with an email about, you know, you're kicking ass on the show. He right, says right. that to me. I don't right. know if he says I got, that to you. No, I got a card actually sent to my house. Oh, that. he sent yeah. me flowers and he sent me a, a Range Rover. <laughs> email, I got he sent me a Range Rover. Yeah. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> that no. Porsche is a little tight for me to get into, but, you know. <laughs> no, but I'm sure, I mean, you know, behind the scenes he is, but I think he I think he trusts Greg and no, Joan. I mean, you've got, you know, I mean, look at the movies that, that Joan has written and the body of work that Greg Plagel has. He's been on a number of very successful television series. And, you know, not uh, only as a member of the writing staff, but also as the showrunner. Um, so, I mean, you know, from top to bottom, this thing has a, has a very good pedigree. Um, so, I mean, you know, I couldn't see J.J. having a, a lot of input. Um, but, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely a presence there. Yeah, absolutely. He had a lot of say on me getting it, actually. He told um, Jonah to just offer it to me. He's like, there's one person you should go after. Mm. Did he say that about you? <laughs> <laughs> what happened was he called me and begged me. <laughs> and I was like, JJ, you know, don't beg. <laughs> level of respect I lose, don't beg. <laughs> Exciting and unexpected because I remember when we did the pilot, I was like, wow, CBS is never going to pick this up. This is too dark. So I'm going to take the money and run. And then the show gets picked up, and I'm like, really? Okay. Like, no one was expecting it. Jonah will even say it. We, none of us were expecting him to pick this up. And then it gets picked up, and then the. The, the, the audience's reception of it was just mind blowing. Thank you. That's the only way I can put it. Because <laughs> you know, shows you get picked up all the time. Pilots get picked up all the time, and you just you never know. You just never know. And then the amount of success this has had, I think all of us are like, whoa. <laughs> it's amazing to see too. We're in, we're in reruns right now, um, and the, the show is still a top ten show in reruns, and, and you know. I'm out the street and I meet people and they, they always like, wow, I didn't catch it when it first aired in September, yeah. but I plan on watching next year because I saw it in the rerun. Yeah, it's still gaining an audience. It's still gaining legs. Yeah. From your normal procedural, you know, um, like most procedurals, you show up, you know somebody's dead, now you got to figure out how to, who did it. And this one, you, you got to figure out how to stop what's going to happen. And you don't know who's 
to who's doing it, if they're going to be the victim, or if they're going to be the perpetrator, you just don't know. So everything's kind of like up in the air. 